Welcome to Business with Eddie. Today we're discussing a very per- pertinent point as far as life in South Africa is concerned and especially in the current economic conditions and that's the stark reality of retrenchments. Like and subscribe for more. One very important thing to remember, yes, obviously the Basic Conditions of Employment Act say that when you get retrenched, the minimum amount you're supposed to be paid out is one week of pay for every year of service. That's one side of it. Then obviously you need to be speaking to a financial advisor as far as what needs to be done as far as your retirement fund, your retirement unities, uh, pension fund and all of those type of things. That's another second very important factor to be taken in, into account. And then obviously, should you be retrenched, you need to find out what's happening as far as your medical fund is concerned. Because bearing in mind that if your medical fund lapses, you'll be charged late joining fees when you join a new fund. So if your fund is an in-house fund within the company that you had been working for, find out if you're able to maintain your contributions to that fund up until such time that you can transfer across out into a private fund because the transferring out from one fund to another doesn't incur your late joining penalties but if you allow your medical insurance to lapse and try and take out new medical insurance that's when you'll be hit with all of the additional late joining fees. But this all gets me onto one very important factor and something to be taken into very 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 crystal clear account is the days of working for a company from when you leave college up until retirement 20 30 years or more enough time for you to be able to pay off the bond on the house that you're living in are long gone in all likelihood you're going to be changing jobs easily every four to five years if not more often in order to be able to advance your career so It doesn't make sense to be buying the house you're living in because when you move from one job to the other, in all likelihood, you're going to be needing to sell up and buy wherever you're moving to because there's going to be a relocation involved in between the one job and the other. So vitally important here is that when it comes to buying property, buy residential property, preferably a cluster of different units together in a place where you can get set those residential units as a cluster to work for you long term. Not one single residential unit, because if one single residential unit becomes vacant for six months to a year, you'll be needing to pick up all of the bond payments, all of the um, body corporate levy payments, etc., etc., on that unit, and that can be absolutely crippling. But if you've got a cluster of five, six, seven, eight units all together in one place, and if one of those units happens to be vacant, you've at least got carry over as far as the cash flow from your other units are concerned to be able to keep the payments up as far as the mortgages are concerned on all those units together. So having a cluster of units in one place is far preferable to having one single unit that will be costing you more. Then, as far as what about the house you live in? What about the house or apartment that you're living in? Rent that. Should you be retrenched? It is way easier to be able to break a lease, move into a cheaper um, residence, or break a lease, move to where you'd be able to get new employment and rent there at a far faster pace than what it will be to be able to sell a residential property especially into a downward sliding economic market without selling it at potentially a loss and certainly not being able to recoup the bond cancellation fees that you'll be needing to face. That's my take on the matter personally. I'd love to hear what you have to say on the matter as well. So post your comments, questions and criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button that's down there. And last but by no means least until the two of us meet again. Try not to get yourselves lost or killed and I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.